hello welcome so in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a dictionary from your Excel data sheet okay so on my right here I have my data sheet okay this over here that's what I imported to Excel this this is the code I used to import it alright so I'm going to import it on Excel data sheet right now I'll not use this Python so I can comment it out this numpy library okay so if I'm going to form an, an Excel data sheet I mean a dictionary what I want to do is I want to take each column one after the other and form variables with it so I'll form a variable for names variable for numbers variable for countries etc all right Alright, so now I have all the variables I need. I think I have all of them. Yeah, I have all of them. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is, uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use a for loop in order to collect all of them. But before I do that, I'm going to create a dictionary called person. Okay, so or individual. Let's say person. Person is a dictionary here, an empty dictionary, and I am going to use a for loop to loop through all the lists. Okay. Okay, so now I've been able to loop through all my lists. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, accumulate, I'm going to take, um, for instance, I'm going to take Justin, his phone number is this, his, from this country, he is this years old, and he is a male. Oh, I didn't talk about gender. Okay, I talked about it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'm going to append, so let me create, um, append to the dictionary. calls person all right so that's what I'm going to do here so I'm going to say um, name or person for each person name equals to and I'm going to create um, a dictionary here okay so I'm going to append a dictionary into each dictionary or if you want you can use a list I don't know yeah you can use a list if you want I prefer to use a dictionary all right so we have name equals um name If you have any issues, you can leave it in the comments so I can attend to it. All right, so I think that's it. Very. What's this for? Okay. All right. Let's see. Name countries is not defined. I defined it. Countries. Oh. There, that's my problem. I misspelled it. Alright, okay, so let's print it again. So um it should run the code. Now we just come down here and then we'll print out oh and then we'll print out a person. Okay. And what it's going to do is it's going to give us a long list of persons. So for Justin, these are his details, okay. Up to where? Yeah, so it takes each individual and gives us the details of that individual. Country. 
um, yeah, later we'll sort them out in columns. Okay, using NumPy, we can sort them out in arrays. Now, what you could have also done is instead of appending it to um, a dictionary, you could have actually appended it to a list. Oh. Except, so I'm just going to move up here, okay, and I'm going to say. Um, so I'm going to create a list here. Okay, instead of a person call, I'm going to create a list, an empty list here. So I could just come and say person person dot append dot append. Then I append this list. Okay, so I'll append a list of name, comma, age, comma, gender. Comma, um, number, comma, country. All right. Then I'll ask you to print persons for me. See. So let me clear this one. Then print out. Ask not to read append. Oh no, not this. What? Not you. I meant. Persons, sorry. Persons. I want to append them to this list. Okay, so. All right. So there you go. So what it just did is, it took. Let me see if I can get one detail. So it took, for instance, we have Grace here. Okay. You have Grace forty-five, forty-five um, number and country yeah so that's how to go about it anyways i hope you learned something from this video if you have any comments you can leave it for me in the comment section and i'll get back to you if you have not subscribed to my channel um you can do so especially if you want to follow follow my videos all right i'll see you in the next videos bye